Hello and welcome to AstroWeird. On this channel, we're looking at serial killers from the astrological point of view. We're combining astrology and criminal profiling to try to understand what natal charts can tell us about these offenders. We'll be creating astrological criminal profiles to try to find similarities and differences in the astrological makeup of these killers to better understand criminal behavior in general. In order for someone to be classified as a serial killer, they must have killed at least three victims on separate occasions, which may be days, weeks, months, or even years apart. Some killers on our list have less than three confirmed victims, but more than three suspected victims, and they will also be included. Our list includes serial killers from around the globe who were born in the 19th and 20th centuries and whose date of birth data is available. While we're focusing on finding what made them tick from the astrological point of view, we must never forget their victims, victim families' pain, and general death and destruction they have left behind. Before we start the investigation, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on new videos. Let us begin our investigation. There are 86 Leo serial killers, more so than the previous killers we talked about, that is, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer serial killers, though not by much. There are 7 female and 79 male Leo serial killers. Of those 7 female killers, 2 were born in the 19th century and 5 in the 20th century. Of the 79 male serial killers, 2 were born in the 19th century and 77 in the 20th century. It is to be expected that there are more serial killers in the 20th than in the 19th century, however, it's not because people were better or less violent back then, on the contrary, there is far less violence now than in the previous centuries, despite what people may want to believe. In the 19th century, some behavior that we would consider violent wasn't classified as such and was a quite common occurrence, for example, child labor. Another thing to have in mind is that the investigative and forensic methods were not yet advanced enough to successfully apprehend the offenders. As usual, the decade most killers were born in is the 50s, a total of 23 Leo serial killers. The decades that usually have the highest number of serial killer births are the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s. Leo serial killers come from all around the world. They're from Australia, Austria, Brazil, Chile, China, Cheshire, Finland, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Netherlands, Russia, Taiwan, Thailand, UK, Ukraine, and the USA. The most prolific Leo female serial killer is Marie Noe from USA, who was born on August the 23rd, 1928. Between 1949 and 1968, eight of the ten Noe children died of mysterious causes, which were then attributed to sudden infant death syndrome. All of her children were healthy at birth and were developing normally. Two other children died of natural causes. Marie pleaded guilty in 1999 to eight counts of second-degree murder and was sentenced to 20 years probation and psychiatric examination. She claimed that she had suffocated four of her children but didn't remember what happened to the rest of them who died under similar circumstances. She died in 2016. The second most prolific Leo female serial killer is Faye Copeland from USA who was born on August the 4th, 1921. She didn't act alone but instead killed alongside her husband Ray Copeland, a Capricorn. They were convicted of killing five drifters at their farm. Their former employee called the police and reported seeing human bones on their farm and claimed that Ray had tried to to kill him. At the trial, Faye's defense painted a picture of her as a dutiful wife and mother who had endured beatings and general ill treatment from her husband. Nevertheless, she was convicted of five accounts of murder and was given four death sentences and one life sentence. Death sentences were later commuted to five consecutive terms of life without parole. In 2002, Faye suffered a stroke that left her partially paralyzed and unable to speak. The same year, she got the medical parole and died in a nursing home in 2003 at the age of 72. At the time of their arrest, Faye and Ray Copeland were the oldest couple ever sentenced to death in the United States. Faye was 69 and Ray was 76. The most prolific Leo male serial killer is Anatoly Onopienko, aka the Beast of Ukraine from Ukraine who was born on July the 25th, 1959. Onoprienko is a serial killer and mass murderer. This may sound weird because people are either serial killers or mass murderers, but when we take into account that the definition of a mass murderer is someone who kills at least four people at one location during a single event, and that Onoprienko would kill entire families, it's clear why both definitions apply to him. For example, his first ten victims consisted of a family of ten two adults and eight children. 
the second family he massacred had four members, and so on. His crime span was between 1989 and 1996. He killed 52 people. Onoprienko was first sentenced to death, but in 1995 Ukraine entered the Council of Europe and death sentence was abolished. He died in prison in 2013 at the age of 54. The second most prolific Leo male serial killer is Zhang Jun from China, who was born on August 5, 1966. Alongside his associates, he robbed 22 stores in Chongqing, Hunan, Hubei, Yunnan and Guangxi, killing 28 people and wounding 23. According to reports, Zhang had a military hand grenade with him when he was arrested. He was executed in 2002 at the age of 34. The youngest born Leo serial killer is Jorge Avila Torres from USA, who was born on August 18, 1988. He is known for a double rape and murder of two girls aged 8 and 9 in his hometown in Illinois in 2005. Unfortunately, the police questioned one of the girl's fathers, Jerry Hobbs, and he confessed. Hobbs spent the next five years in prison. This is a reminder that anyone can confess under pressure. Shortly after the double murder, Avila Torres joined the Marines. In 2009, he attacked 20-year-old Navy officer Amanda Jean Snell, a Navy military intelligence specialist, strangling her to death. In 2010, Avila Torres abducted two women, kidnapping one of them, whom he raped and stabbed, leaving her for dead. She survived and reported the crime. Avila Torres was arrested and his DNA linked him to the previous murders. Jerry Hobbs was exonerated. The second youngest born Leo serial killer is Yukio Yamaji, aka the Osaka Sister Killer from Japan, who was born on August 21, 1983. He first killed his own mother in 2000. He got imprisoned for that crime, but was paroled in 2003. In 2005, he raped and murdered a 27-year-old woman and her 19-year-old sister. He was executed in 2009. The most infamous Leo serial killers are Angel Maturino Resendiz, aka the Railroad Killer, Cleophus Prince Jr., aka the Claremont Killer, Myra Hindley, the Moore's Murders, and Heriberto Seda, aka the New York Zodiac. Angel Maturino Resendiz, aka the Railroad Killer, was born in Mexico on August 1, 1959. He was a Mexican itinerant serial killer suspected of as many as 23 murders across the United States and Mexico during the 90s. He had become known as the Railroad Killer as most of his crimes were committed near railroads where he had jumped off the trains he was using to travel around the country. He was convicted of capital murder in Texas and executed by a lethal injection in 2006. Cleophus Prince Jr., aka the Claremont Killer from USA, was born on July 24, 1967. He would enter the female victim's residence during the day through an unlocked door or window, surprising them during or just after they bathed and stabbing them to death with knives taken from their kitchen. He killed six women. He was arrested on an unrelated death charge but was then released on bail. Finally, the jury found him guilty and he was sentenced to death. Currently, he is serving his sentence on death row. Myra Hindley, associated with the Moore's murders, was born on July 23, 1942, in the UK. Alongside Ian Brady, a Capricorn, she killed five children, ranging from 10 to 17 years old, of which at least four were sexually assaulted. In January 1961, she met Brady and quickly became obsessed with him. He introduced her to the Nazi ideology and she even started emulating an ideal of Aryan perfection, bleaching her hair blonde and applying thick red lipstick. The two would tape the murders and later Brady would take pictures of Hindley at the grave sites. Myra Hindley was characterized by the press as the most evil woman in Britain. She died in 2002. Heriberto Seda, aka the New York Zodiac from USA, was born on July 31, 1967. He admired the San Francisco Zodiac killer, whose identity has never been confirmed, but will try with further investigation to see if the natal charts of the suspects, primarily that of Arthur Lee Allen and Gary Francis Post, compare to what we believe would be the most likely natal chart of the Zodiac based on the analysis of the serial killers whose crimes had similar characteristics. From 1990 to 1993, Seda shot and killed three and wounded six people. He was a recluse obsessed with astrology and death. Seda killed in cycles of 21 days in correspondence with the placements of heavenly bodies. He taunted police by sending them letters stating that he would choose his victims based on their zodiac signs. 
he was sentenced to 232 years imprisonment. Here is an interesting data. There are serial killers who were born on the same day of the same year, yet who have never met each other and have nothing to do with one another except for the fact that they are serial killers. We call them astrological twins or astro twins. They are Wang Zhongfang from China and Francisco del Junco from USA, who were born on August the 3rd, 1957. Wang Zhongfang, a Leo, and Wang Zhongwei, a Scorpio, were a pair of Chinese brothers. They are known as Ar Wang or Two Wangs. They started their crimes in 1983 by robbing the People's Liberation Army Hospital in Shenyang and shot dead five soldiers during the Chinese New Year. They killed and injured police officers and soldiers using guns and grenades. They had 19 victims. Ar Wang were killed in a shootout with the military in September 1983. Francisco del Junco is a Cuban-born American serial killer who killed and burned the corpses of four sex workers in Miami. He was convicted of all four murders, of which he received four life sentences. His victims were African-American cocaine addicts, who he would beat up, kill with metal pipes, and then burn their bodies. Del Junco comes from a family with a history of mental illness. As you can see, evil is not restricted to only one culture, one country, or one part of the world. There is evil in every country and every culture, and here we are trying to analyze it so that we can detect it and prevent it in the future. Now let's start with the astrological statistics. In this video, we'll be focusing on the luminaries, that is the Sun and the Moon signs, the personal planets, that is Mercury, Venus and Mars signs. The rest of the planets, including some asteroids, most notably Chiron, will be taken into account when we do videos on major aspects. Bear in mind that ascendant data is rarely available and will not be included, which also means that we won't be looking at houses. We'll start with the Moon, whose importance and influence on our daily lives is undisputed. There are many astrologers who see moon as more important than the sun as it governs our emotions, intuition, instincts, emotional safety and emotional responses. One important thing to have in mind, moon changes sign every two and a half days approximately. Since we don't know the exact time of birth for the majority of the serial killers, there will be those whose moon sign may be in one of the two neighboring signs. Further analysis in subsequent videos will give us a better understanding of which of the two moon signs is more likely to be correct than the other based on the characteristics of the crimes committed. Most Leo serial killers have Moon in Scorpio, nine of them. This is to be expected because Leo's Sun and Scorpio Moon form a square. Whenever two planets form a hard aspect that is square or opposition, the energies of those planets are in constant tension. This is even more pronounced in the case of Sun and Moon. Sun represents the character of a person and their wants, while Moon represents their personality, needs, emotions, and emotional safety. When Sun and Moon are in square, it creates inner tension that can never go away. Scorpio Moon on its own is in fall, the most difficult position for the Moon. Whenever a planet is in fall, it means that the sign it is in cannot carry out the mission of that planet. Scorpio Moon is intense, dark, paranoid, and obsessive. It doesn't go well with the energy of the Moon which is all about emotions, abundance, and caring. Scorpio moons, in general, feel constant tension regardless of the sun sign or any other planet in the natal chart. This is because it feels the scorpionic intensity 24-7 and it's not normal to feel that way all the time. In essence, Scorpio moon is not compatible with life. Now, because this moon is so strong, intense and difficult, it's better to have something to control it. With Leo's sun, it's not only that the sun cannot control it, it adds fuel to the fire. And even more so in the case of Leo. While the square does create tension, it depends on the signs in question how it will be manifested. Simply put, not all signs are dark and volatile. The Leo Sun Scorpio Moon is one of the most volatile combinations out there. Both are strong and unrelenting. None will ever back down, though for different reasons. Leo because it is proud and Scorpio because it is paranoid. I don't mention serial killers in this video. Wang Zhongfang and Francisco del Junco have this moon. Next, there are eight Aries moon killers. Aries moon is assertive and can also get easily fired up about anything. They have a pronounced instant gratification streak. They're also aggressive and pushy. Leo's Sun in Aries Moon is in trine, that is the most harmonious aspect to have between two planets. It means that these energies are fully and seamlessly integrated. A Leo killer with Moon in Aries is someone who is energetic and gregarious. They don't hold grudges, but when they get angry, better watch out. 
Anatoly Noprienko has this moon. Next, there are five Capricorn, five Gemini, and five Virgo moons. Moon in Capricorn is another of the difficult moon positions, regardless of the relationship with other planets. While moon in Scorpio is in fall, it is said that moon in Capricorn is in exile. The difference is that while Scorpio is incompatible with Moon's energy, Capricorn doesn't know how to integrate Moon's energy and make it work. It's not like they don't have the tools, they don't know and don't want to know how to use them. They do have them, but they would prefer not to. They don't know what to do with their emotions. Moon in Scorpio knows what to do with their emotions, it's just that they're too strong and intense for everyday use. Moon in Capricorn is cold and calculated, and see emotions as childish and stupid. A Leo killer with this moon is someone who is proud and stubborn. No killer mentioned in this video has this moon. Gemini Moon is talkative and fun. They prefer not to feel their emotions, but instead talk about them. Leo with Moon in Gemini Killer is someone who thinks they know the best and that everyone should obey their every whim. No killer mentioned has this moon. Moon in Virgo is neurotic and overly critical of both themselves and the others. They are usually dissatisfied with the world and would like to make it according to what they think would be the best. A killer with this Sun-Moon combination is someone who thinks that everyone else is dumb because they don't have their superior mental capacities. No killer mentioned has this moon. Next, there are four Taurus moon killers. Moon is exalted when in Taurus. This means that the moon feels extra good when in the sign of Taurus. It is someone who loves to live in abundance and to have a good, comfortable life. However, when their life circumstances don't let them live the life they want, say because of the financial situation, it makes them feel uneasy and even jealous of others. The real problem here is that Leo's sun forms a square with Taurus moon. This is, of course, a bad position, the one that creates inner tension within the native. Unlike Leo's sun scorpion moon combination where the native has inner darkness, Leo Sun Taurus Moon is someone who is primarily concerned about how and why their well-being is not the most important thing for the people in their lives and the world in general. No killer mention has this moon. Next, there are three Aquarius and three Pisces moons. Aquarius Moon is in opposition with Leo Sun. This is another of the hard aspects. The big difference between Square and Opposition is that with Square, a native is more likely to show the inner tension as outward aggression, while someone with the opposition will do it in a more subdued way or will direct aggression inwardly. That isn't to say that anyone with their Sun and Moon in either Square or Opposition will start a criminal career, as a lot of law-abiding citizens do have these aspects. However, these people also feel the tension that they may direct direct in other non-law-breaking ways, such as constant bickering, getting offended easily, starting verbal and physical fights for no reason, and so on. A Leo with Moon in Aquarius is someone who is very proud and thinks of themselves and their abilities very highly, but will try to hide it. Moon in Pisces is sensitive and romantic. They're also emotional chameleons, adapting their emotional nature to that of other people. This makes them highly manipulative as they are good at exploiting people's weaknesses. A killer with Leo Sun and Pisces Moon is someone who seems less energetic and more lethargic than an average Leo. They also seem to constantly be in their own world. However, they're prone to brooding. Next, there are two Cancer, two Leo and two Libra Moons. Cancer Moon is generally a good position. Cancer Moon is in domicile because Moon rules Cancer and it feels at home when in Cancer. These natives are emotional and sensitive. They also worry a lot and need the attention of their loved ones. With Leo Sun Cancer Moon native, this is amplified. They need attention, but they get whiny and frustrated when they don't get it. No killer mention has this moon. Leo Moon is proud and boastful. They want people to know how great they are and how great and amazing their possessions are. They tend to boast about what they they have, even if it's nothing special, because in their mind, everything they do and have is great. This trait is doubled when Sun is in Leo. Faye Copeland has her moon in Leo. Libra Moon is indecisive and overly friendly. It means that they want to be perceived as everybody's friend, even if they dislike them. Leo Sun Libra Moon Killer is someone who is larger than life and who loves to be surrounded by people. They love to be the center of attention and can use their natural ability to appear friendly to lure their victims. No killer mentioned in this video has this moon. Finally, there is one Sagittarius Moon Killer. Sagittarius Moon is generally easygoing, adventurous and fun to be around. They are also a bit naive. A Leo Killer with Sagittarius Moon is someone who is talkative and energetic, but with a big ego. If you paid attention, we said that there are 86 Leo serial killers, however, we've only listed 49 killers moon signs. 37 killers seem to be unaccounted for. Those are the killers who were born on the days when moon changed from one sign to another and they will be listed separately. 
Therefore, there are a Libra Scorpio, six Gemini Cancer, and six Scorpio Sagittarius Moons. Jorge Avila Torres has his moon in either Libra or Scorpio, Angel Maturino Resendiz has his moon in Gemini or Cancer, and Marie Noe and Myra Henley have their moons in either Scorpio or Sagittarius. Next, there are four Aquarius Pisces, three Cancer Leo, and three Capricorn Aquarius Moons. Cleophas Prince Jr. has his moon in either Aquarius or Pisces and Yukio Yamaji in either Capricorn or Aquarius. Finally, there are two Pisces Aries, two Virgo Libra, one Aries Taurus, one Sagittarius Capricorn and one Taurus Gemini. Zhang Jun has his moon in either Pisces or Aries and Heriberto Seda in either Taurus or Gemini. No Leo serial killer was born on the day when Moon changed from Leo to Virgo. Further analysis of the individual cases and the comparison to the known Moon signs will tell us which of the two signs is more likely to be correct. This might, of course, alter the existing statistics of serial killer Moon signs, but in subsequent videos we'll see how much and in what direction. The next planet we are going to analyze is Mercury. Mercury is important to understand as it governs how we think and how we communicate with others. Mercury can only be in three signs, the sun sign of the native, one previous and one subsequent sign. In the case of Leo natives, it can be in Cancer, Leo and Virgo. There are 34 Leo, 33 Virgo and 19 Cancer Mercuries. Leo Mercury is an energetic talker who likes to shine in every conversation. Interestingly, they are not as boastful as one would expect, but they are very firm in their beliefs. A Leo Sun with Leo Mercury killer is someone who knows what they want and isn't afraid to ask for it. They are very proud of their intellectual abilities and love to be praised for them. Anatoly Noprienko, Zhang Jun and Angel Maturino Resendiz have this Mercury. Mercury in Virgo is methodical and studious. They are detail-oriented and perfectionist. A Leo with Mercury in Virgo is someone who is oriented towards the more material side of life. They know how to make things work and what steps they have to take to get where they want. They don't dwell much on failure, instead doing their best to turn it into success. Wang Zhongfang, Marie Noe, Yukio Yamaji, Jorge Avila Torres and Francisco del Junco have their Mercury in Virgo. Cancer Mercury is a good listener. Their memories are strongly tied to their emotions. A Leo with Cancer Mercury killer is someone who can appear empathetic. They are good at luring their victims by talking to them and getting them to trust them. Faye Copeland, Cleophas Prince Jr., Myra Hindley and Heriberto Seda have their Mercury in Cancer. The next planet we are going to analyze is Venus. It is a very important planet, especially for a study. Venus is the planet of beauty, aesthetics, charm and above all relationships. In a male chart it indicates what kind of person the native finds attractive, while in the female chart it tells how the woman flirts. In both male and female charts Venus shows what we want out of a relationship and how we behave in a relationship. Since majority of the cases we are investigating are of psychosexual nature, the position of Venus is very important. This is especially true for male killers because their crimes are usually driven by sexual desires. Similar to Mercury, Venus can be only in five signs, the Sun sign of the native, two previous and two subsequent signs. In the case of Leo Sun, Venus can be in Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo and Libra. There are 34 Virgo, 23 Cancer, 16 Leo, 8 Gemini and 5 Libra killers. Venus is in fall when in Virgo. We've already said that when a planet is in fall, it means that the energies of the sign it is in clash with the energies of the planet. Venus is all about love and romance and Virgo simply doesn't deal well with that. Venus in Virgo native doesn't know what to do with emotions. They have a set list of attributes they want in a person and if that person doesn't meet their standards, they'll see them as deeply flawed and in inadequate. Anatolio Noprienko, Angel Maturino Resendiz, Wang Zhongfang, Marie Noe, Cleophas Prince Jr., Yukio Yamaji, Francisco del Junco and Heriberto Seda have their Venus in Virgo. Venus in Cancer is romantic and sensitive. Deep down they dream of a perfect relationship, but at the same time they are afraid of any new relationship that comes their way and are distrustful of love in general. They are shy and may get cynical and dismissive if their love life is not satisfactory. Zhang Yun and Jorge Avila Torres have this Venus. Venus and Leo loves to shine. They love to be the center of attention of their lover and get turned on by their lover or partner, telling them they are the best partner they have ever had. They're flirty but prefer to be chased because it strokes their ego. They're flamboyant and want to have a romance of a lifetime. No killer mentioned in this video have Venus in Leo. 
Venus in Gemini is flirty and talkative. They love to mingle and meet new people. In relationships, they get easily bored and tend to jump from one partner to another with ease. They like to be constantly kept on their toes and may discard people who get boring. They need excitement and variety to feel loved and appreciated. Faye Copeland and Myra Hindley have this Venus. Finally, Venus feels good when in Libra. This is someone who is sensual, romantic, and loves the finer things in life. However, because of the Libra's indecisiveness, this native may look mysterious and elusive to others, which can just increase their appeal. People naturally gravitate towards them, and when their sun is in Leo, this is increased significantly. People simply love to be around them and find themselves lucky when these natives want to communicate with them. This, in turn, can facilitate getting to to their victims and pulling the wool over people's eyes. No killer mention has this Venus. The last planet we'll be analyzing in this video is Mars. Mars is a very important planet, not just generally speaking, but for our astrological profiling. It deals with aggression, how we act and react to the world, the pain, and how we go about doing stuff. In male's chart, it shows how he flirts. In a female's chart, it shows what kind of person she's attracted to. That isn't to say that when flirting, a man will not employ some of his Venus sign, and the woman will not employ some of her Mars sign, as it happens often, and these two planets, Venus and Mars, are the ones most closely looked at when dealing with romantic relationships. In both charts, it is also related to sexuality. Most Leo Sun serial killers have their Mars in Virgo, 15 of them. This is someone who is meticulous and very good at making detailed plans. They think they're unbelievably smart and that they can avoid detection and evade authorities for the longest time. These killers have a very strong faith in their skills and won't let anything to chance. However, their ego can thwart their perfect plans. Anatoly Onoprienko and Angel Maturino Resendiz have this Mars. Next, there are 12 Leo Mars killers. Mars in Leo is energetic, but also very proud and has big ego. They dislike criticism, especially for the things they do. Leo Sun with Leo Mars is someone who appears somewhat balanced in this respect, but whose desire for praise is pronounced, though it may not be shown as openly. They like to be praised for their actions. Faye Copeland, Wang Zhongfang, Myra Hindley, Yukio Yamaji, and Francisco del Junco have Mars in Leo. Next, there are 11 Cancer Mars killers. Mars is in fall when in Cancer. This is a difficult position regardless of the planets in the natal chart. Mars is all about assertiveness and getting things done. However, Cancer is anything but assertive. This is why this Mars position is notoriously passive-aggressive, pouty, and sulky. This is especially true for male killers because of the societal expectations for the males to be assertive and go-getters. When flirting, this killer may appear to be more docile than they actually are. Zhang Jun has his Mars in Cancer. There are 10 Aries Mars killers. Aries Mars is in stark contrast to Cancer Mars. These natives are assertive, aggressive, and go-getters. Mars rules Aries, which means that it feels at home when in this sign. Leo Sun killers with Mars in Aries are fearless, but also relentless and unyielding. Jorge Avila Torres has this Mars. Next, there are 8 Libra Mars killers. Libra Mars is another of the difficult Mars positions, because Libra is so indecisive, it doesn't go well with the Mars's energy. It takes them a long time to make a decision, if at all. They are also friendly and may appear far less dangerous than they actually are. No killer mentioned in this video has this Mars. Next, there are eight Scorpio Mars killers. Scorpio Mars is obsessive and has a darker energy. It is assertive and a go-getter. Because Scorpio is a fixed sign, these natives won't stop at nothing to get what they want. Unlike Mars in Aries, Mars in Scorpio is patient and can wait a long time to achieve their goals. They are also vengeful. When a Leo killer has Mars in Scorpio, they can get very fixated on what they want. They can also be secretive about their plans and what they are doing. Cleophas Prince Jr. and Heriberto Seda have Mars in Scorpio. Next, there are seven Taurus Mars killers. Taurus Mars is lazy and stubborn. They usually operate within their comfort zone, which is why they may not change or adapt their modus operandi as often. No killer mention has this Mars. Next, there are five Sagittarius Mars killers. Sagittarius Mars is active, outdoorsy, and adventurous. They need that rush of excitement to feel alive, which is why they are more likely to be thrill seekers. No killers mentioned have this Mars. There are four Gemini Mars killers. Gemini Mars is energetic and fired up when speaking. They are multitaskers and have a tendency to start many things but rarely finish them. They love to plan out their crimes, but because they are reckless and have short attention span, they can become sloppy. Marie Noe has her Mars in Gemini. There are four Aquarius Mars killers. Mars in Aquarius is visionary and hardworking. However, they will only work on things that interest them. A Leo Sun killer with Mars in Aquarius seriously hates being bossed around. They think they are 
are the most original, the most innovative out there, and have a tendency to see others as boring and worthless. No killer mentioned in this video has this Mars. Finally, there are two Pisces Mars killers. They're emotionally unstable and flaky. They're not consistent with their actions and may be confusing. This can help them avoid authorities for longer because they can easily and often unwittingly throw them off the tracks. It's interesting that there are no Leo Sun serial killers with Mars in Capricorn. What have we learned so far? Leo Sun serial killers are boastful and have big egos. They're energetic and can easily fool others with their bright disposition as they appear friendly, but deep down they think they're better than everyone else. That's all for today. See you in the next video where we'll be discussing Virgo serial killers. Until next time.